In this video, we will show you how to set up a PCR reaction using thermoscientific fusion high-fidelity DNA polymerase. These enzymes were created by fusing a small DNA binding protein to a proofreading DNA polymerase, resulting in an enzyme with very high fidelity, speed, and inhibitor tolerance. For this example, we are going to set up a PCR reaction and amplify a 500 base pair fragment. Let's set up the cycling conditions first. Denaturation with fusion polymerase is performed at 98 degrees Celsius. The annealing temperature is calculated from the primer sequence using the Thermoscientific Fusion TM calculator on our website. Because the optimal annealing temperature for reactions with fusion DNA polymerase may differ significantly from that of tag-based polymerases, it should be calculated with the Fusion TM calculator for every primer pair. The annealing temperature for this experiment is 60 degrees Celsius. Lastly, the extension temperature is 72 degrees Celsius. The extension time is determined by the size of the PCR products. Please note, fusion extension times are significantly faster compared to competitors' high-fidelity polymerases, making the reaction times much shorter overall. For our example, we will amplify a 500 base pair product from plasmid DNA and we'll use 8 seconds for extension. Here is a summary of the cycling conditions. We will now program the thermal cycler. Now that the cycling conditions are entered into the cycler, we can set up the PCR reaction. Here are the reagents and volumes needed to prepare one 20 microliter thermoscientific fusion green PCR reaction. Add the water, fusion green buffer, DNTPs, primers, and fusion DNA polymerase in that order. As a quick reminder, Fusion polymerase uses fewer units per reaction compared to other polymerases, so don't add too much. Keep the reaction tube on ice to improve specificity. If a hot start version of the fusion polymerase is used, then the reaction can be set up at room temperature. Add the template to the reaction and transfer the tube to the cycler and start the program. If using fusion green polymerases, after the reaction is completed, PCR products can be loaded immediately onto a gel. The green buffer contains a density reagent that allows direct loading of PCR products on a gel and two dyes for monitoring of electrophoresis progress. The colored buffer does not interfere with PCR performance. Upgrade your PCR today with Fusion High Fidelity DNA Polymerase.